Well, good morning, YouTube people everywhere, wherever, whoever. Today, we are going to do this front timing cover. <clears throat> and, uh, of course, I washed the, washed the Audi. And, of course, looks like it's going to rain. Because... It's me, and why not? So I gotta hope I find all these right bolts for this junk. Um, clear space over here. Did find the water pump. water pump and uh, yeah so anyway uh, what I am gonna do with all these bolts is I'm gonna take them to the wire wheel and chain them up So I'm going to shine them all up like this, right here like this, I think you can see it, maybe, maybe not, anyway, I'll show you the old versus the canoe, so it's really hard to see with the sun right there. I'm going to shine them all up. So I did uh, these bolts over here. So as you can see, those bolts are shiny. I think you can see. So we got those bolts right there. Are all shiny and good. Um, yeah, so... Anyway, I'm going to shine all these bolts up like that. I'll just put a couple in the front cover. Uh, you know, a couple shiny ones in there. Wire harness is in my way. But anyway, just gonna shine a couple up. Just to hold the cover on for now. Um but yeah, let me let me see if I can't get you guys up here higher to where I'm at. I am using the gimbal. So we'll see how this how this turns out. And uh yeah basically uh you can put it on one spot. Which is not that spot. So it should stay in that one spot wherever I keep it. Um, but yeah, so um, just lifting the legs of the tripod or dropping the legs, I guess you could say. Gimbal's pretty cool. It's just really heavy. It's actually really, really heavy. So, as you can see, the whole thing's wobbling around. But anyway, it is what it is. 
I like it. I think it's a pretty cool little addition. So uh, let me get this seal out and I'll be right back. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a uh, a punch and a mat. Way apparently these things are backwards from what I'm used to. So that's the gimbal, anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and punch this seal out. Pretty sure it just goes in. In with the out, out with the new, however you want to say it, scooby dooby doo. <clears throat> anyway, I've got the new seal here. I think I already did a parts number on it. Just gonna open it up. And this is just like the rear main seal. You got its driver. papers made for uh, moisture. Anyway, you got the seal. You want to make sure it's dry in here, which it is all not dry. <laughs> oh, nasty crap. I hate this. It's the, it's the, why I call it the black pearl. This is freaking nasty crap all over me. Every time, I, every time I touch anything that hasn't been cleaned by me, all messed up. Anyway, so like guys previous videos, this is the driver tool. This is the driver tool. Uh, this sets the depth of it. And then when you put this ring on, when you set that piece in there onto the crank, it's a centering tool too. Because the weight of this the weight of this cover will could drop down and you'll have a gap up here, a ceiling gap here, and it'll be tight down here. So if you put this on, when you bolt all these bolts up, it holds this seal centered. So that's what this tool also is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to set it first. I'll pull this out. Try to get it in here and just get it started. Remember right on the kids. It was a pain in the butt to get it started. So work it a little bit. So, I guess we'll just have to do it this way. Let me uh, let me do this off the camera so I don't have to do a bunch of editing. So anyway, it's difficult to do. It's kind of a pain to do. So I'm going to do it off camera, show you guys, so I don't have to do a 30 minute video. Alright guys, here you go. So there's no gasket for this front seal. 
<clears throat> so there's just uh, just gonna be using some uh, Permatex gag skip maker. So fuel resistant, blah blah blah. Anyway, and that's why it took me seven years to clean all this out. So I'm just gonna go along here, be generous. So anyway, just gonna go in. I don't know if you guys can even see what I'm doing over here, probably not. So let's get you guys over there. Into here. Oh, that was a big old air pocket in there. Just laying it all out. Don't want to go too crazy because you don't want <clears throat> a bunch of this stuff inside the oil. Anyway, I did have to press this in, uh, the seal. I did get the seal in. I had to do it kind of at an angle and then ride it in the rest of the way. It's kind of a pain in the butt if you ask me. But at least it's tight. It's taut. So, uh, I don't think there is a gasket for these. I don't know, I'm not sure. Not 100% certain, but I don't think there is. There wasn't one in my kit. There was a gasket for the back of that timing case. Um, but there wasn't for the cover. And. If I remember right, when I get, did the kids' killer dowel pin and front seal, if I remember right, there was a uh, gasket for the front, for the actual cover itself and not just the gear, because I, I didn't take the, uh, the timing case off, so, because I didn't take the... VE pump, VE I think, yeah, the VE pump, I didn't take it off of his truck, so, anyway, I might let this dry a little bit before I put it on, it seems kind of wet, I don't know why, so, I might just stick it on. I'll probably just stick it on and this way it'll give me time to move it around so let me move you guys over here if you're even going to be able to see so I do have that sleeve on there I have this sleeve to protect the seal um, anyway so here it goes. I'm put a bolt in right up here right now. ring off
too tight. Another bolt. And another bolt. Sorry, I'm in your guys' way. But anyway, so I'm supposed to be able to take this. So as you can see, it's, well, I don't even know if you can see or not. But the cover, the cover keeps dropping down. I have to keep lifting it up. So if you get that in there just right, Basically, pretty much center. Just trying to find a hole with some threads in it. Ooh. Can't wait to get rid of this makeshift table. Anyway, uh, my hands. so I'm gonna tighten those bolts. You torque them down to 18 foot pounds, and. Uh, that's pretty much it for this long drawn out process of doing a timing cover so I'll uh, let me do all the bolts let me clean all the bolts and I'll show you a little clip once it's all done all right guys <clears throat> here you go it's a quick little uh view of everything in there so as you can see it's all sealed up in there it's all centered everything is uh everything is good to go so <clears throat> anyway that's the front timing cover uh, is what it is. Got all the bolts polished. As you can see, got these bolts in. So I just need to go pick up some more paint for the for the water pump. Anyway, I got the water pump sitting right here. And uh, yeah, so pretty much it um, gotta figure this thing out there we go anyway uh, I gotta figure this little gimbal thing out I do like it um, I do have the wire harness all uh, cleaned up I'm gonna try to figure out all the wiring harness on this thing and uh, run the wiring harness Basically, I just want to make this a complete engine. Basically, a uh, drop-in, drop-in engine for somebody to pick up. Um, what I'm kind of hoping what will happen is, if I can, I'd like to sell it and get a core. So I'm trying to uh, charge somebody for a core, so this way they can drop off. A rebuildable core so nothing that has a hole in the side of the block obviously so either something seized or something with some you know scored cylinders or something but nothing too crazy 
Um, by the way, I just got to clean up some parts. Um, I'm going to do some other stuff. So, alright guys, uh, that's going to be it. That's it for this, uh, for this, whatever you call it, timing cover. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you guys do. Later.